Hello and welcome back to the part three of this video series on staying healthy and preventing COVID-19 infection during the current pandemic. Let's look at the key differences in responses between countries so that we can learn what's working, what is not working. While countries, some countries have taken proactive, affirmative actions to get COVID under control, others have been fantasizing that COVID-19 is not going to affect them. This is, wish, this is wishful thinking, but based on the pattern of spread, even back in January or February 2020, it wasn't realistic. So it's noted, noticeable that these countries in the East that took prompt and effective action to control the disease, specifically expansion of testing, were all were previously affected by the SARS epidemic in 2002. They indeed learned from the mistakes and applied to the current epidemic successfully. Because of this preparedness, they were managed to control more effectively than any other Western countries in the world. So the lesson learned in 2002 became a great asset for these Eastern countries. The question is why other countries fail to anticipate and follow that model and ignore these key lessons we learned in 2002. This is indeed a classical example of failure of higher level leadership. It is ironic that these Western countries which continue to fail to control the disease, they are sending and eager to send specialists on disease control to other countries. Eastern countries like South Korea and Singapore, Taiwan and others were much more prepared and successfully implemented those lessons they have learned. This is compared to economically more sophisticated Western countries in the world. Consequently, these Eastern countries managed to get the COVID epidemic under control much quicker than Western countries. So let's look at briefly why the Western countries uniformly fail to control this pandemic. Western countries, also Japan and Australia and South American countries, had several weeks of vital lead to time to prepare, to act promptly to prevent influx of this spread of COVID-19. Yet all of them failed to prepare and taking right actions. Because of the failure of their political, administrative, scientific, as well as a regular, regulatory leadership, the disease unfortunately is spread across these countries with vengeance, now killing thousands of innocent people. Administration of these countries took this pandemic leisurely and consequently even the basic actions such as having a stockpile of face masks, for example, wasn't there. And the use of face masks were not encouraged until very recently as an important part of social distancing and protecting individuals. These were implemented now only after the fact. The recession delay, however, is causing havoc and will come with a huge price for all these countries. Moreover, the worst is not yet over. Thousands of lives were lost are indeed going to lose because of the mayhem that is still continuing. Not only none of these Western countries were prepared, but also despite increasing death rates, some are still not fully able to grasp the situation in controlling the disease and implying and stringent actions. That there are marked contrasts between the East and West, between how administration were acting to control this pandemic. The final clinical outcome, including the number of deaths, will, however, depending on the decisions taken by the administrations in February and March 2020. Countries that had no plans and had no strategy 
had no choice but to fall back, taking extreme military-like actions for crowd controlling, including 24-hour curfews. We already mentioned that this action will alone will not be able to control COVID-19 epidemic. Such drastic action imposed in isolation in the absence of other disease prevention methods, there are many, only add to extreme difficulties to constituents and harm them with less, together with the less beneficial clinical outcome at the end. So let's look at briefly what's needed now. It is insane for any government to declare war against the COVID-19. COVID-19 doesn't obey military orders either. It is high time that this administration come out, on, out of the denial mode, explain their failures to the public, and stop relying on shutting down entire country and depending on the failed Western models. They should at least now should urgently consult the real expert in the field with experience in disease control, especially acquired during the past 15 years. What is important is a logical and rational approaches with simultaneous implementation is a dynamic strategic plan. Please join me for the next video where I will be discussing the logical steps needed to control COVID-19. Till then, thank you.